What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another video and we are rocking my favorite class on Vacant, playing a little Kill Confirmed. And my favorite class always is going to be something involving a submachine gun as my primary and my backup is going to be something like this, the AX-50. In this case, I'm using the MP5, but I love that submachine gun sniper combo. I would wish and I wish and I wish that I was actually a good quick scoper. One day I will be, practice makes perfect. But without further ado, let's get on to today's topic, season two content, baby. And there's leaks and rumors all about the season two content. And of course, all of these leaks and rumors are coming from the one and only the gaming revolution. I swear up on everything righteous and holy that that dude is giving someone a handy J over at Infinity Ward. I don't know why anyone would give him as much information as they have given him, but they most certainly have. So I think the Handy J's are being handed out like Skittles, if you want my personal opinion. <laughs> but I'm not hating on this dude. Uh, whatever, man. The Gaming Revolution, you know, bravo to you. Someone's giving you all the leaks and details. Enjoy. Hope it makes your channel grow and prosper. But as far as according to the leaks, I'm not going to go into everything that he's been stated. You can go to his channel and you can hear what he had to say about it. But the rumor is for Season 2 is that we're going to be getting Backlot and we're going to be getting Village remakes. And I just got to say, why? Oh my God. Oh my God. Infinity Ward, I love you, but why are we getting more Modern Warfare 1 maps? Oh my God. There are Modern Warfare 1, there's Modern Warfare 2, there's Modern Warfare 3. There's a lot of great places where there's some maps to choose from. Hell, you could even take a couple maps from Ghosts. There's still so many Why do we have to have Backlot? I'll take Village. Village was awesome. Village was killer. I loved Village. But, I mean, we've got Arcaden from Modern Warfare 3. You could have taken that one. You could have taken Hard Hat. You could have taken... What else could you have taken? What would have been another good one? Sea Town. Sea Town would have been awesome. Modern Warfare 2, you could have taken... Uh, what's that one? I never can think of the one. It was the one in the, the house and the cabin in the middle of nowhere. And that, that was, I love that map. I don't remember what everybody's favorite. You could have taken Skid Row. You could have taken... Uh, Rust, you could take a scrapyard. Rumor has it, though, according to the Game of Revolution, those two maps are possibly going to be in the works. So that's, you know, that's pretty good news to hear. But why backlot? I don't think we need to take any more maps from Modern Warfare 1. Not a single one of them. But we are getting Village, so good. I'll take that much. And also, rumor has it, we're going to get some brand new maps as well. And possibly a new map in Season 2 as well. A whole brand new map. Maybe it'll have a little bit better flow than some of these other ones have. I got faith in you, Infinity Ward. I got faith. But also, rumor has it, we're going to be getting possibly Battle Royale either this possible season, if not the next possible season, and if not after the next possible season, then possibly not at all. Because according to the Gaming Revolution, they don't want to do anything if it's really good that could take away from, you know, Call of Duty, you know, 2020. So... There's that for you. But I really personally don't care about Battle Royale. I hope they stay away from it. To be frankly honest, I think Battle Royale is great for those who love it. But I think that this game having ground war and having gunfight maps and having multiplayer maps and spec op maps, I think their resources are stretched kind of thin. And I think just adding another mode like that to it is going to stretch it even further. I mean, we're getting constant remakes of maps. We're getting nothing new whatsoever. That should be an indication already to the people making this game that it's already stretched so wide and the game didn't launch with enough maps to begin with. But it is what it is. But also, we're going to be getting some new ground war maps. Looks like possibly two, according to the gaming revolution. And we'll probably get some more gunfight maps. And there's going to be some more uh, more weapons added to this. We're going to get a new, I think it's a submachine gun. Maybe an assault rifle. I don't know. But we're going to definitely get some more content to that effect. And that is pretty much the gist of everything that we're going to be getting in Season 2. And possibly some of the other seasons going forward. They did have a laundry list of maps that were discovered in the game files and by some people who've PC downloaded it or whatever the hell that they do. And, you know, the Gaming Revolution did list off a truckload of maps. There's, I think you stated a total of two or three originals and quite a few remakes. But I'm just curious, like, what's your opinion 
as a Call of Duty lover, someone who enjoys this game, someone who plays the game, what's your thoughts on the matter? Do you think that we need constant remakes, or are you sick and tired of it? Would you like to see a whole bunch of new maps with good flow, or would you are you are you happy with all these remakes? Personally, I'm kind of over the remakes, man. I'm really kind of over the remakes. I really wish that we would just get a new plethora of content. I really like what they did with the Battle Pass this time around. I'm not a big fan of Supply Drops, but I really like what they did with the Season... You know, not the, excuse me, Season Pass. What am I talking about? I like what they did with the Battle Pass here. I like the fact that you had the chance, if you wanted to buy the gun straight out, you could buy the gun straight out, or you could straight up go in and grind it and earn them. I like the way they did that, but I'm sick and tired of remakes. And if you're going to do remakes, stop doing the same freaking ones. We're tired of seeing the same remakes over and over and over again. I mean, it's absolutely getting old, if you ask me. For the sake of Modern Warfare, I guess we can just, you know, hope for the best and hope that we actually get some new content and not some recycled masks. At least that's my hope. And we can hope that COD 2020, you know, one thing I do trust Treyarch for is that that game is going to launch with a lot of maps. And that's what my fingers are crossed for. I hope they keep the crossplay in the next COD. And I hope that... It's not loaded down with remakes. I'll tell you one thing, though. If the next COD is going to actually be a Black Ops 1 soft reboot, as the rumors have been going around and flourishing around the campsite, that game is going to be straight fire if they do the same thing they did here and carry over, like, the Gunsmith or whatever you want to call that thing, and they bring back, like, the Galil and the Famas and the G11 and the Commando and all those sick weapons. That's one thing that I think will be absolutely amazing if they do that. That's going to be so sick. But I hope that they don't keep the motion sensor. The motion sensor in today's, you know, camping society, we don't need no more motion sensors or anything like that. But that's all I've got for today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Consider sharing it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think about the content season two? What do you think about COD 2020? What are your hopes and for this future of this franchise? But this is your boy, Darstevious, signing out. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.